Hello, potato. Sometimes it's nice to have snacks in like the big, big like warehouse club size, big bottle of Oots pub snack. But sometimes you need a lot of flavor that can be highly portable. Something you can throw in a lunch bag, throw in your backpack, something you can have when you're in line at Disneyland and you need something and you don't want to leave the line because it's like three hours long because you want to go on the Star Wars ride. So that's when single servings become important. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you, you do get more waste when you get single serving packaging, but you get more portability. And today we're going for portability with Powered by Plants, Nature's Garden, Savory Sensation Snack Packs. We've got Baja Twist Mix, a blend of taco seasoning, cashews, corn nuggets, almonds, and dried pineapple, and Ghostly Ranch Snack Mix, a spicy blend of ghost pepper almonds, ranch cheese balls, cashews, and pretzel twists. Now, Ghost Pepper Almond and I have crossed paths before, back with the, uh, the Blue Diamond Almond Extremes, and, um... I wasn't super impressed with them. They, I mean, they were they were fine, but they didn't have a lot of flavor. Although weirdly, I did those Carolina Reaper almonds a while back, and while they didn't seem that hot when I ate like six or seven of them on camera in that video, I put some in a salad last week, and they seemed hotter. Like somehow being open caused them to become hot. I don't know. It was weird, but uh, they were still you know not overly hot, but they were a lot hotter than they had been. So we have a pairing of two flavored snack. Nope, I can't read that right. A pairing of two flavor packed snack packs for on the go. Contains 18 bags, there's only nine of each. Dive into the sensational world of our spice-tastic snack packs. Don't be frightened of our ghostly ranch snack mix. It has just the right amount of tongue tingle with a cool cheesy ranch finish. If it's tacos that tickle your fancy, our Baja Twist Mix will give you an aha Baja moment with notes of tomato, lime, sour cream, and jalapeno, the perfect taco flavor in a crunchy snack. Okay, I wasn't expecting uh, the Baja ones to have any spice to them, but we'll see. I mean, jalapeno is not super, super spicy in general. Each one is one, one package is one serving, 120 calories per serving with, how's your sodium? 12%, 12%, I can speak, 12% in your ghostly and only 4% in your taco. So that's uh, that's interesting too. Let's open this up and see what our individual packages look like. See if I can open it up. Cause yeah, these kind of packages basically never work for me. Well, there we go. So that's nice. Uh, this isn't a resealable bag, so we can close these back up so they don't Go all over the place in the back seat of the car if the bag falls over. So that's a nice thing. Let's get out a ghostly ranch and a Baja twist. And we will see what they are all about. I don't quite understand why they feel like they need to put powered by plants. I mean, there's not, not a lot of mixes of nuts and fruit and stuff that um, have meat in them. I mean, jerky obviously is a thing, but I wouldn't expect anything in this to not be plant-based. Well, I guess, I guess the cheese. So I guess the cheese is probably artificial. Because if it's all well, power to plants, it doesn't necessarily mean plant-based, right? Tree nuts, almonds, cashews, milk. Well, so we're not completely plant-based. These aren't vegan, they have milk in them. Let's see. Well, that just answers the question. I was basically interesting if they had a, interested if they had cheese in them or not so apparently oh, look, this is the cheesy one isn't it this one has a lot more ca uh, cautions tree nuts milk wheat and is manufacturing still do that processes peanuts tree nuts well there's peanuts or there's, there's there's milk nut milk milk ah if there's tree nuts milk and wheat in here then obviously it's going to be in a facility that handles tree nuts milk and wheat it feels like it feels like this is, maybe this is air in it. It feels like there's more in this one than in this one. But let's start with this one. Start with our Baja Twist. Take a look at that, if I can get it open. So this is kind of a flaw in your travel snack is that it doesn't open easily. Is there a place to, no, it's not a tear place. Oh, there we go. That did it, just 
just took persistence. Let's take a look at this. Get some out here. All right, so there is our Baja Twist Mix. Smells a little taco-y, not overly seasoned. Um, yeah, I mean, taco is probably, uh, taco, I think I smell, I think I smell the corn nuts a little bit. It's, uh, almonds smell quite taco-y. Cashews less so. Pineapple smells taco-y, which is kind of a, kind of a weird scent for pineapple. Corn nuts smell like corn nuts. Sorry, I guess these aren't technically corn nuts. So let's uh, give this a try. Let's try our almond first. The flavor is fairly subtle, not overpowering. Not getting any heat, not getting the jalapeno that they uh, they mentioned on there. So that's that's good if you don't like heat. Let's uh, try. Also, if you don't like the flavor of jalapeno, let's try a cashew. Maybe it's because the cashew is a. Um, kind of a, a a more basic flavor but I can taste the taco a lot better on that again still no heat let's try a pineapple okay so that's kind of weird uh, the taste of, of uh, dried pineapple with taco seasoning is a weird combination finally let's try a corn nut Flavor's nice, but the corner tastes almost like it might be a little stale. That's kind of weird. What is, what is that? It's like a piece of, of checks or something. Is there something else in here? Dried corn nuggets, almonds, cashews, pineapple. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Looks like a piece of like a checks or something. Well, I'm not gonna eat it. Don't know what it is, not gonna eat it. Let's finish the rest of my hand though. You know, not my favorite thing in the world, but uh, not not bad. I don't know if I'd necessarily get them again, but they're fine. They're okay. I mean, if I'm on the go and I need like some quick protein, what is the protein in this anyways? Protein should be pretty good, right? It's all nuts and stuff. Protein in our ghost is four grams and three grams in our Baja Twist. So if I was just on the go and I needed some like, you know, protein real quick, this, this wouldn't be bad. Like, you know, if I just hadn't eaten all day and I needed a quick something just for energy, this would work. It's not offensive. It's it's okay. It's not spicy. I don't know why they mentioned jalapeno because I'm not tasting any jalapeno in there. But let's try our ghost. Also, I mean, I, I can see why they're only 120 calories. They are very small servings. Let's try our ghostly ranch. Now this is of course the one that I'm more interested in because it's ranch, it's spicy. It's everything I am looking for in a snack. Well, not everything I'm looking for in a snack, but it's uh, it's a number of things I'm looking for in a snack. So here's our, our uh, Ghostly Ranch. That's the name, Ghostly Ranch. I'm looking right at the word. You think I could remember it? Smells much more cheesy and savory. It smells very cheesy. It's what it really smells like. So this has... Ghost pepper almonds, ranch cheese balls, cashews, and pretzel twists. So let's, uh, let's try a ranch cheese ball here. That is not much of a ball. That is a ranch cheese chunk. Smells like ranch. Weirdly, it smells less like cheese than the rest of the package it does, but it does smell strongly of ranch. Well, that is very cheesy, very salty. Very, very flavorful. Very salty, though. I feel like uh, everything else here probably is going to be less salty because you're meant to eat these like by the handful. Here's our cashews. Don't look anything special. Don't smell much of anything. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that is a plain cashew. Uh, there's no seasoning to speak of on the almond. There's some transfer from being in the bag, but it's not a seasoned cashew. Not the ones in the Baja Twist where they were clearly, you know, I mean, you can see in the picture they were coated and stuff. Uh, these aren't seasoned. I guess because that, that cheese chunk is meant to do a lot of heavy lifting. Here's our pretzel. Again, it smells like vaguely of ranch, but that could just be transference from in the package. Yeah, that's just a, just a pretzel. No seasoning on there. I don't think there's even salt on that. I'm guessing because, again, uh, 
pretty high salt content in this anyways, and most of it's probably in that cheese ball, which means we need to try a almond, our ghost pepper almond. So this is where I think uh, this is meant to carry a lot of weight in this package. Let's see where it's at. Smells of absolutely nothing, but to be fair, the blue diamond ones did as well. So let's, let's give it a taste. So it tastes just of an almond. And at first, honestly, like the first 10 seconds of chewing, like no heat at all, then a little bit, a very tiny, tiniest little bit on the back of the tongue and it's gone already. Um, I, I'm not sure who the uh, audience for the just, just the right amount of tingle is meant to be, but I'm clearly not it. That's not, that's not spicy. That's, that is kind of what I've come to expect from things that say they have ghost pepper in them is that they're not, not much ghost pepper in them. This was in a room with ghost pepper at some point, maybe. We'll try all of it at once. Just try a handful and see what we get. Got a couple almonds there, a couple pretzels, some cheese chunks, cashew. Let's give it all a try, all at once. Well, I can tell you one thing. You get a few of those little cheese chunks in your mouth once, it just sucks all the moisture out of your mouth entirely. Uh, very flavorful, very nice and cheesy. I don't really get the ranch so much, but it's nice and cheesy. Um, no heat there in, in a group like at all for me. But if you're more sensitive to heat, that might vary for you. We try another handful of the Baja just to get more of it together. See, all together, the, uh, the pineapple gives the whole thing a little bit of a nice, a nice sweetness that mixes with the savoriness. This is much more of a saltiness. If, um, if you want something salty, you probably won't go with ghostly ranch. If you want something with a little bit of sweetness to it, the Baja twist. Neither of these is spectacular. It's not a revelation. It's not a breakthrough in snacking technology, but they're both competent and they both will fit in your bag and give you a little, little boost of a uh, protein should you find yourself needing it. But the, uh, the ghostly ranch there, definitely writing checks they can't cash. Uh, there's not, re if you have the almond by itself, there's a little heat there, but together I'm getting like nothing. It's uh, the cheese is the star of this flavor, not the ghost pepper, not the ranch, definitely the cheese. This one, I'm gonna say the, uh, the taco seasoning is strong, but the pineapple's stronger, but that kind of works for it. That works uh, together. So yeah, these are things which exist. I'm glad I've tried them. They'll be good as like road snacks or something, or just, you know, just toss in a lunch or keep in your desk or whatever. They're not bad. They're not the best thing ever, but they're also no longer a mystery to me as I've tried them both. I hope you found this at all interesting and entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give the video a like, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.